There is a place. Don't let it fade. When your mind goes there, make up your mind it's going to stay there because it is a place. I don't care what the thought is. Doesn't matter what the image is. If your mind can go there, you can physically go there. Let's understand, frequency is a level of vibration. Everything vibrates. It's moving. Now, it appears to be still. It isn't still. It's moving so fast, it appears to be still. Every frequency is hooked up to the one above and the one below. There's no line of demarcation. Now, do you want to know what that means? You can go like that onto a higher frequency. But you can also go like that onto a lower frequency. Yet some people do that. But we think on frequencies. So we have to get that right in our mind. There's a, an energy flowing through our consciousness. We have what's called an inductive reasoning factor. That gives us the ability to just, you could pick up thoughts. There's actually thoughts floating around. Your thoughts, my thoughts, they're everywhere. Like if I have a thought, it's omnipresent. It's just as present in your mind as it is in mine. You may not be aware of it there, but so your, your inductive reasoning factor can choose a thought or it can take this unadulterated creative power, pure spirit, and it can create a thought. You literally create a thought. And, and you put that thought with another thought, and another, and another, and you got an idea. An idea is nothing but a thought or a collection of thoughts directed towards a purpose. So what we're doing is we're taking this power that's flowing through us, and we're using this higher faculty that we've got in creating thoughts. Now, that's the one point that all the great leaders have agreed on. They've disagreed on virtually everything else. We become what we think about. Yep. Listen to the conversation of most people. A high percentage of the population are talking about what they don't want, what they hope doesn't happen. They never realize, and it's going to be obvious they don't realize this, that they are directing this magnificent power that's totally subjective. It has no ability to alter anything. You've got the choice. But I'm going to tell you something. There's no shortage of good ideas flowing into your mind. There is no shortage. There's an abundance of them. While you're driving, while you're in the shower, while you're eating dinner, while you're talking to somebody, you take mental breaks. Everyone has these ideas. You have them flying on your mind, don't you? But we discard them as fast as they come. Why would we do that? Why wouldn't we keep them there and focus on them? Say, I can do that. I can do that. Why? Because we're ignorant. That's why. If you're observant, you're going to see outer reality shaping itself upon the model of your imagination. No, this is all our imagination at work. Imagination isn't something just kids play with until they get a little older. Imagination, he'll sit, is the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivable powerful force the world has ever known. You have one. It's one of your higher faculties that was that sacred gift. Now what I want to suggest you do is really let yourself relax and start to dream. But as you're doing it, also become aware of how your paradigm is going to fight you. This is where I am. I know how I got here. This is where I want to go. This is a place. If it's a place, don't let it die. Hold it. If it dies, bring it right back. Understand, it's a frequency. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.